Hello! We're here to open some more Star Wars toys. Cool! Right? Right. So, for the three I wanted to do today, I just have a, a lot of extra random characters, so I thought let's do some side characters um, oh. from the movie. Hmm? You didn't stop me first. Do what? You didn't stop me first. Oh. Well, do you, let's go back to right before they went to Camino. Probably open up, I don't know if this guy's liked or popular or anything. Dexter Jetster. Whoa. <laughs> What's he look like? Silly bad guy. He, he's just a cook. But he's supposed to be nice. He works in Coruscant. He's Obi-Wan's buddy. Really had no real part in the movie besides some information that he passed along. Uh, I'm not sure what his species is. It actually doesn't say. But let's get him open. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big boy, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So we can get him out of there. Yeah, he's baby. He's what? He's baby. And then he's got... Yeah, he's got some little pieces here, like a knife with some electric. This thing. I'm not sure. This is a tiny piece. Some of the flat, the not plastic. Oh, I guess it is plastic. Plastic rubber on some of these pieces feel very weak and like kind of bendy. So he's got actually got a lot of weapons for some reason. He's got a saber dart, which I guess is what this little thing is. He has a vibro cleaver. Take it off. Yeah, like this is rubber, and it's it's actually really sticky too. I think he's supposed to off his hand. Yeah, and this electric stuff is supposed to just kind of go through the knife, I guess, and kind of wrap around it. Yeah. So. That's his cleaver, I guess he uses for cooking. Then he has kind of a knife that also goes with him. And here he is. Oh my oh. gosh, he has a ponytail. I never even realized that from the movie. Here's Dexter himself. He's got some hair there. He's got four arms that all seem to move pretty good. Ugh. Because he's a Dr. Bauer. He's a chef. This last one's very stiff. There's some good te detail on this guy because he's got like a little, you know, chef's rag. Yeah, he's just got that rotation under the, the foot that kind of goes around. Um, but he's got like stains on his um, smock. His like belly's hanging out. He's got tattoos on his hands. He's pretty detailed actually. Even his head can turn a little bit. Can he, I don't think he has any, um, yeah, he just, he doesn't have anything Daddy, crazy. To be a... And the, the rubber of these is yeah. really loose. Um, so, I don't know why he would have an electric cl uh, cleaver. I don't remember him actually even cooking in the, um, in the scene, and I definitely don't remember him um, doing anything like electrical. So, take off his clothes already. We can't take off his clothes. Uh, just a great so there's Dexter Jetster. Again, we don't know what. And another Star Wars belt today. Another Star Wars. What about young Boba Fett from Camino? His dad kind of took off. No, his dad didn't leave him there. I'm sorry. They took off from Camino. We opened up all the Camino stuff last week. And here is young Boba, the son of Jango Fett. Basically kind of training in his dad's footsteps. He's got very much, I think it's the very same kind of blue Mandalorian helmet that Jango had. See, he's a little boy. He does have his own rocket pack. 
He's got the dual blasters. Let me see this. So he's got the removable poncho as well. And it's very stiff. And actually, you can't do the poncho and the backpack. So you have to kind of choose Aww. which one you want to do. Oh. What's that? It's his backpack. And there's like a blast coming out of one of the jets, but the other one, no. So, oh yeah, it's in there. I'm sorry. We left it in there. It's a cool thing I like about these, these toys. They have so many little details to them. Yeah, so there's his blast off, his backpack. He's got two, he's got dual blaster pistols. Um that are kind of rubber band to his hand. He doesn't have a lot of movement. His legs are stiff. And he's supposed to put his helmet on. Oh yeah. Could you put his helmet on him? Sure. So big. <laughs> Does it fit him? No. Hmm. Let's see. Ugh. So there's young Boba Fett. Definitely not the way he looked in Clone Wars. Um. I think he changed the style of his helmet and, and backpack and everything. Definitely his outfit. But this matches up with the movie. And it's, it's got a lot to now. it. Yeah. He's got his little poncho. So he's a nice little figurine. So that's Boba Fett. And now we get to one of my favorite characters. C-3PO. Huh? Protocol droid. And he has the removable um, panels. What's this guy? That's 3PO. Oh. He's a protocol droid. All right, hold on. Let's read the back, though, because I want to see. Okay, yeah, so the, his whole thing, and he comes with a nice little background of Tatooine. His whole thing, and he also comes with this big um, storage case for some reason. I got 3PO. You got 3PO? Okay. What's in him? Mm -hmm. Well, he has parts. So right now, he's just kind of like the way Anakin built him in Episode 1. Um, that is, I don't know if that's supposed to be there. Look at all that paint on the back of his leg. If that's supposed to be part of the figure, that's pretty crazy. It looks like literally someone just painted over that. Um, there's no like shot of his back that tells me. But the, huh, that's interesting. So then you just take these little pieces. That's and we just kind of build him up and give him his, um, I don't want to say armor. Because it's not armor. It's, um, panels. Sorry, panels. Oh, okay, so that paint is supposed to be there because he has it on. Can we build that one? Yeah, that's what we're going to do is build him up. Then we put this one on his shoulder and his arm. That doesn't really hit that. Okay, there we go. Is that a missing piece? Yeah. Oh. Then we have his other arm, which kind of completes the artwork they did on him. Okay, and so I totally didn't even notice that he has pegs where they fit right in because I pay attention. So, did we? Yeah. There are extra pieces. Because... So many pieces to build. So many pieces. He should have that panel there. I believe this one goes over there. And it matches the sloppy like paintwork I was talking about earlier. I must have dropped another one, though, somewhere. Because we're missing one, um, we're missing one, um, like thigh piece. Do you, did I drop one on the ground? Is that what happened? Yeah. Do you see it? No, I don't see it. Oh. Oh, I dropped something else. You did what? Yeah. Oh, it's in the package still. Duh. I think it was. Okay, so sorry. I got the other thigh. Big guy? 
Oh, wait a minute. That's not the big one. It's for this one. I put the wrong piece on. There's his bottom leg piece. Sorry, I'm not really showing you. And then here's his hey. other thigh piece. It's not. How does that go on? Like that. Maybe that. And then his head. So the helmet just fits right over the top of 3PO. Oh. So we're no longer just seeing wires. And he starts to kind of look like the 3PO that we know. Uh, he's not all shined up and clean, though, like uh, he normally he is. And then he came with this little storage box. So I guess if you take all that stuff off, it's supposed to fit inside the box, I assume. And I don't know if like it, if he just today. carries these around with him all the time so people can so someone could please fix him up and put his panels on. I'm not sure. And he comes with his tattooing background. So those are some of the um yeah. So built built but left unfinished by Anakin Skywalker ten years earlier. Um, while living with living with Klee Lars and his family on the moisture farm near Mos Eisley on the planet Tatooine, C-3PO finally receives his first outer casing when he's visited by Anakin and Padme. So that's pretty cool. So there's 3PO. What do you think about 3PO? Don't like him? I know, it's kind of messy. All right, so we opened all our toys. Now we're having a Star Wars battle. A Star Wars battle. Oh, my. Creepy, I'll just sit there and watch. <laughs> oh, I'm just a cook. Creepy, get that guy. All right, well, we're going to continue our battle, and we'll see you next time.